What's going to make or break your college experience is 100% Hey! Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have not been making videos for a while because this summer has been so busy. I'm balancing my time between a job and two internships. By the way, here's a little look into what I do at one of my internships. Unfortunately, this road closure is not going away anytime soon. In fact, this area is expected to have on and off road closures for the next 30 to 60 days. And we're back. Uh, so I've been having a lot of fun and learning a lot, but I've also been really sad because I haven't been able to sit down and film a video for you guys. But it's 4th of July weekend and I finally have some time to sit down and film the East Neighborhood pros and cons. Yeah! Before I start, I just wanted to say you guys are so cute. I have been getting DMs from you guys on my Instagram and they're always like so sweet. Uh, you've been saying how my videos have been so helpful and you've been asking me for some more advice and you guys know I send you back like long paragraphs. And a lot of the messages start off with saying like, oh, like I usually don't like DM people I don't know, but like your videos really helped me. So I just wanted to like ask you this question. Like, I hope that this isn't weird or anything. And I just want to say, like, it's not weird at all. If you guys have any questions that are more personal, feel free to DM me on my Instagram. Um, honestly, like, it makes my day. Like, you don't understand. I will be having, like, a bad day, and I'll be, like, in a bad mood, and then I'll get a DM from one of you guys saying, like, how I've been so helpful and basically asking for further advice. And it literally just, like, brightens my day, and... It just makes me feel really like appreciated and happy. So if you have any like more questions, feel free to DM me on my Instagram. So yeah, let's get started with the video. Uh, I just want you guys to know that I actually live in East Neighborhood, specifically Hubbard Hall for first semester of freshman year. So this video is pretty personal to me and it's bringing back a lot of memories. Um, some good, some bad. <laughs> But let's get started with the pros. Pro number one, we've got two cafeterias. We have Holmes Cafeteria and Acres Cafeteria. So you have those two dining options. Pro number two, we have Lyman Briggs College. This is a living learning community in Holmes Hall. And uh, living learning communities are basically where people who study the same major or are going down the same career path, live in the same uh, dorm building and take classes together and they just like form really tight knit bonds. So the Lyman Briggs College is a living learning community for pre-med majors. So yeah, if you're on the pre-med track, definitely consider Lyman Briggs College. Pro number three. East Neighborhood is really close to I Am East, which is one of Michigan State University's gyms on campus. So literally it's like walking distance. I would like maybe walk 10 minutes from Hubbard and like get to the gym. However, I Am East is a little small. Um, it might be good enough for you, but if you're looking for like a bigger, more um, hardcore gym, I guess. There is a gym called Powerhouse Fitness, which is really, really close to East Neighborhood. And I would say it would be maybe like a 15, 20 minute walk. And if you have a moped, it would be like a five minute walk. So um, if you're serious about your fitness, I would definitely recommend like maybe getting a membership at Powerhouse because it is so close to East Neighborhood and I think a lot of people forget about that. And in general, just if you're gonna live in East Neighborhood and you're considering buying a moped for Michigan State, definitely do that because it's pretty far from a lot of things, which I'll talk about later, but I definitely recommend buying a moped. Just even honestly, wherever you live, just buy a moped. It, it'll make your life so much easier. You can get to places so much faster. Pro number five. Acres is very special in the fact that you can live with three other people. So basically how Acres is set up is that there's three rooms and two of the rooms have beds in it. So it'll be like two beds in one room 
and two beds in another room. And then the third room is more like a living room area. So you can get like a TV and like a couch and it can be kind of like a shared living space. And then also everyone shares a bathroom. So definitely look into Acres for that reason if you want to live with like three other people that you're like really close to. And then the bathroom situation everywhere besides Acres is suite style bathrooms, just so you guys know. Now we're going to move on to the cons of East Neighborhood. Con number one, it's far from a lot of classes. So like I said, if you can get a moped, get a moped. It will save your life. But like I say in all my other videos, there are exceptions where there are classes that are in the dorm building. So um, there could be a class in Acres Hall or Hubbard Hall. You just really got to look out for them when you're making your schedule. Con number two, it is very far from Grand River, which is like the downtown East Lansing area. And it's very far from Greek life. So you might have to Uber over there if you're planning on joining a fraternity or a sorority. Even though East Neighborhood is far from a lot of things, there are bus stations really close by. There's one at Acres and there's one in Holmes and a ton of buses come through that route and you could literally take the 31 bus and just go anywhere. And that's it for the pros and cons of East Neighborhood. One thing I wanted to mention before I go is that although the pros and cons are important when picking your dorm, I don't want you to think that if you get stuck with a dorm that you don't really like, that you're gonna have a bad college experience. That's not true. What's going to make or break your college experience is 100% your attitude and the people you surround yourself with. You need to make sure that you are surrounding yourself with the most positive people that are hardworking and have your best interests in mind and that overall just make you happier and that is going to just make your freshman year amazing. So you could literally live anywhere and have an amazing college experience just based on the people you're surrounding yourself with. So I just really want you guys to keep that in mind, especially since I know uh, AOP is going on right now, like the freshman orientation. Definitely pay attention to the friends you're making during that and Think about whether they would be a positive influence throughout your college experience. So yeah, that's just something to think about. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment below. And also don't forget to subscribe for more college videos. And don't be afraid to DM me on Instagram if you have any further questions. I am so happy to help. I know how hard it can be coming into college, especially if you're from another country. I've gotten some DMs from girls that aren't even from America that want to study at Michigan State. So I think it's so cool that like people like all over the world are like watching these videos. But yeah, either way, whether you're from America or if you're from another country, I know how hard it can be when you're going to a new college and you don't know what's going on and all of these things are being thrown at you and you feel like you're being pulled in so many different directions. Um, that's exactly how I felt. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you so much and you make me so happy and I can't wait to see you at my next video. Bye.